Hey everyone, today we're going to go over Felix Mendelssohn. So really quickly, I wanted to do a little bit of review before we jumped into anything new. So his full name is Jacob Ludwig Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdy. He was born February 3rd, 1809. He is a German composer, pianist, organist, and conductor. His first concert was at nine years old. Between the ages of 12 and 14, he wrote 12 string symphonies and chamber works. At 13, he wrote his first piano quartet. At 15, he wrote an entire orchestra symphony. And at 16, he wrote a string octet in E flat major. So I'll describe a little bit about that a little bit later and we're gonna listen to that tune a little bit later. So let's jump into some new information. So our friend Felix Mendelssohn is the grandson of a famous philosopher named Moses Mendelssohn. He was born into a prominent Jewish family. He was brought up without religion until the age of seven. And then he was baptized as a reformed Christian. He was recognized early as a musical prodigy, which means they believe that he is extremely talented for his age, but his parents were very careful and did not try to make any money from his talent. Mendelssohn brought the interest in the music of Johann Sebastian Bach back to life with his performance of the St. Matthew Passion in 1829. And his musical tastes actually set him apart from more musical adventurous contemporaries such as Franz Liszt, Richard Wagner, and Hector Berlioz. He is now among the most popular composers of the era known as the Romantic Era, which is just a time frame in history. So today we're going to take a listen to the Octet in E flat major, the piece that he wrote when he was 16 years old. This is actually one of his best known early works. Um, so his octet in E flat major, Opus 20, was composed in the autumn of 1825 and completed October 15th, right when he was 16 years old. Again, like I mentioned earlier, he wrote the octet as a birthday gift for his friend and violin teacher, Edward Ritz. It was slightly revised in 1832 before its first public performance, January 30th, 1836. Now this piece is pretty long. It has four movements total and each of them are different in their own way, but all still a part of the same piece. So the first one is titled Allegro Madrato Mancum Fuoco. Now that means it's an Italian phrase, which is basically saying to go quickly. Uh, the second piece is called Andante. Now that is also Italian and it means like walking. The third piece is called Scherzo, Allegro Leggermissimo. I think I said that right, I'm not sure. <laughs> so that one's again, a little bit different. This one's also gonna be fast, Allegro. Notice how those two are the same, one and three. They both say Allegro. That means fast. So the last one, presto, is very fast. And that's also Italian. So all of these are Italian words for different types of speeds for each of these movements. Now, a typical performance of this piece lasts around 30 minutes total, with the first movement being around 15 minutes long. The original score is for double string quartet with four violins and pairs of violas and cellos. Mendelssohn instructed the public score to say, this octet must be played by all the instruments in symphonic orchestral style. Pianos and fortes must be strictly observed and more strongly emphasized than is usual in pieces of this character. So I'm gonna say that in easier form to understand what he's saying. 
So he's basically saying he wants all the piece, the whole piece to be played by all the instruments that it asks for in the piece. And pianos and fortes are just also Italian words for how loudly or how softly he wants this piece to be played. And when he says he wants it strictly observed and more strongly emphasized than is usual for pieces of this character, he's basically just saying that he wants it to be very, very closely followed all the directions and wants to make sure that even though this piece is usually not necessarily played as strongly as he's asking, he still wants it to be played that way anyway. So basically, follow his directions exactly as he asked and don't play around with it. <laughs> so we're going to take a listen to just a short piece of this song or movement, excuse me. Um, now, this whole work itself again is 30 minutes. So we're not going to listen to the entire thing. I'm just going to have us listen to about two minutes worth. And if you want to listen to the entire thing, you're welcome to. You can look it up online and type it into YouTube or Google and you shouldn't have a hard time finding it. All right, now let's take a listen. So I'm stopping it again shortly on purpose. The song is, or the entire work itself is very long. So I don't want to have us listen to the entire thing. Otherwise we'd be sitting here for an hour. So um, again, if you wanted to check this out separately from here, um, it's octet in E flat major. So I'm thankful that you were listening all the way through. Thank you for, um, going through this whole thing with me and listening along. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.